Okay guys, so we're going to show you how to use the Screencast Omatic software. It's a free download from screencastomatic.com and I'm going to show you how to simply install it on your computer. It's very easy to do and it should not cause you any kind of trouble, any kind of headache. So let's get into it. Uh, Screencast Automatic is very, very useful. As you can see, that uh, as we get into it, you're, it's already a very attractive piece of software. You can uh, do a video right up, excuse me, right up front. <laughs> We're recording this video. So we can do a video right up front, and then we can uh, quickly move over to. Um, go over to the side and we can even hide ourselves and show what's going on on the screen and um, it's actually not that hard to do you know people try to figure this stuff out and they can just get overwhelmed really easily uh, once you have the software it's not difficult to use so when you go into um, open up a new tab and look for a screen uh, I can spell it right. Screencast. Oh, okay. So when you first, when you first pull this in, you'll see screencastomatic.com. You don't want to get it from somewhere else, okay? Because these people, they just get really sneaky, and you can really screw things up uh, with your computer if you start downloading stuff that's just not from the right place okay so when you click on screencastomatic.com you uh, want to go to start recording and when you do that you'll see uh, come on yeah, sorry about that let's just let's, let's get rid of that okay so once you hit the start recording button you'll see this right here it says download the full app uh, install you want to click on this it'll show you um, it'll watch you put you, you click on this and you click on download install and it'll ask you where you can put this uh, you go to the download section and you hit save and then you'll see uh, screencast automatic is right here now I've already installed it so I'm not going to do that because you can obviously see that I'm using it. Um, so once you do that, it's actually pretty much all you got to do. You just uh, you you click on you click on the uh, downloaded file. It will automatically install it. It's very intuitive. It's nothing hard. Um, once you get going with uh, Screencast or Manic, a little icon will appear up here. I would suggest that you pin the icon to your desktop in case you, if you're going to be using it a lot. I like to do that. So when you hit the start button, you'll notice that there's a screen that pops up. I can't show it to you right now because it's just it would. I just can't show it. It would just shut the program down, and then you know you won't see anything. But um, there's actually a little box that shows up, and it says Screencast Automatic. At the bottom, it'll say Free Recorder. You want to select that one, and then uh, you'll see the little play button or record button pop up. And then uh, you want to be sure to, um, if you got a brand new uh, web camera, then you have to select the web camera where it says webcam like uh, right where you see the screen right here you'll see a little box that says webcam you want to click on that box and then it will automatically find uh, the web camera for you so yeah isn't that really nice how it's like you don't really have to get too technical with all this it's just it's very plug and play you know you put batteries in flashlight you just turn it on you don't have to go manufacture the thing so um, so from, from there, I mean, that's how you install, um, that's how you install screencast o um, it, a window will pop up and then it'll say, 
screen, webcam, and both. The screen is, um, it will record everything on your, on your desktop, everything that you're showing, that's everything that your computer can see, that's what it's just going to show. If you do just the web camera, it's only going to show, it's only going to record what's the, what's in front of the web camera. And if you do both, it simply is self-explanatory. It will show a uh, screen like what I'm doing right now. You can see the, um, you can see the, the camera recording me and you can also see my desktop in the background. So, um, from there, you, when you hit the, uh, when you hit the pause button, it'll ask you if you want to trash the video. If you trash it, you can start over. And if you hit, if you select that, your video that you just made will be, you won't be able to get it back. It'll be, it'll be gone forever. If you hit done, then it will, um, pull up another, another box that says, you know, what do you want to do with this? And you can, send it to your you can save it to your desktop or you can send it directly to youtube and that's how i personally get my youtube videos on there is that I, I just send it straight out to youtube so if um once you um i would just put a title in it and just put a specific title where where it says it because if you don't it'll just say recording number one recording number two and so on um, i gave it a specific name so that when i record when i go into youtube um i can actually see the video and say okay this is this is um this particular video with you know, this description on it the uh, uh screencast automatic doesn't give you enough physical like room to type in everything uh, in the description. It doesn't give you enough room to put um, a lot of tags. Um, it's, um, there's just a few things that you can do. You can, you can select the kind of category of people or blog, you know, people or blogs or a how to video. Um, and, um, there's a, there's like a few other things that you can add to it. It's, it's, you just have to play with the software and see what it's actually good for and what what you know how it's going to be beneficial for you but that's the that's basically it you know that's how you install it that's how you use it and you know if you you know if you like this video hit the like button subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the link below to visit my blog at rickyborrows.com and i will see you on the next video guys it's been fun